After five long years, the Green Archers are now back in the Final Four. The team secured their spot in the playoffs after beating Adamson 64-51 last Thursday and last Sunday, they beat NU 76-65 in what actually is a no-bearing game for Lasalle but of course, it's always important to end the elimination round with a win regardless of the situation. Actually, after the game, we already kind of expected na baka mag-step ladder na Lasalle versus FAU in a knockout match but the unexpected happened. UP was able to give Ateneo their first loss of the season. That's, that, that was the game that followed after the DLSU NU match. So with that, we have a traditional Final Four. So instead of Lasalle having to win three consecutive times to enter the finals, magiging dalawa na lang. Lasalle would no longer have to worry about facing FEU, a team that they find difficulty beating. So they need to just focus their attention now on UP, who has the twice to beat advantage in this series. Though the Green Archers lost to the Fighting Maroons twice in the elimination round, both were just close matches. No? So this promises to be an exciting series in no, the Final Four. To be honest, it's still gonna be a tall order to beat UP twice, especially that they managed to beat Ateneo. No? So their confidence is high right now. If, if the Archers want to win this series, they'll have to focus on stopping UP's high-octane offense. One thing going for the Archers is that based on their previous two encounters in the elimination round, they have successfully managed to limit UP's point production way below their 78.9 average. But playing good defense is just not enough to beat them. LaSalle needs to do a bit more. As of this recording, Justin Baltazar and this John Winston are still day-to-day. Both players did not play in their final elimination game against NU. We just hope that they will be able to play tomorrow. If not, that's gonna be a big blow for the team. If both will play, we would need to have them deliver their usual point production. And our shooters such as Nele, Nonoy, Johera, and Manuel would need to connect, make their shots from the outside in order for Balti and Mike Phillips to operate inside. Most importantly, we need to keep the UP bigs from hauling their usual numbers of boards. Expect Coach Derek Pumarin to devise specific tactics against UP to take them out of their game and minimize their usual strengths. We'll probably see some new stuff, such as modified press, traps, and different situations, shifting to different schemes when the ball crosses half court. Coach Derek likes using zones, but his bread and butter defense is still the man to man. We could see some of our players assigned to specific opposing players end to end and try to deny them the ball or prevent them from receiving the ball in their favored spots. On offense, expect different looks. Against NU, we saw plays designed to get the ball in our bigs deep in the paint. It worked to a certain extent, helped no doubt by the accurate sniping from the perimeter. But of course, less pressure yung game natin nung Sunday, di ba? So, medyo nakita natin na medyo free-flowing yung offense natin, maganda yung ball distribution. I hope they would still be able to play relaxed tomorrow kasi the pressure is still on UP since they are the team that has the twice to beat in this series. Anyway, at this point, we're happy that the team is already back in the Final Four. The last time they played was in 2017. If we look at the historical records of LaSalle in the Final Four, so this is their 21st appearance. Uh, previous to that, their series record is 16-4. and four. That's the highest among all teams in the league. They are currently the only team who has not lost a series when they have the twice to beat. Excluding this upcoming series with UP, there were five times that they did not have the twice to beat. So that was in 1997. They managed to beat UST twice in the Final Four. 2003 where they lost to Ateneo in two games. 2010 and 2012 where we lost to FEU and Ateneo respectively. And then in 2014 against FEU, we managed to force a winner-take-all match. But unfortunately, we lost because kay Mac Bello. Medyo masakit pa rin yung pagkatalo na yun because had we advanced, we might have 
likely won the championship against NU. So if you look at the past performance of Lasal, when they don't have the twice to beat advantage, medyo tagilid, diba? But of course, past is past. Let's just focus on our series against UP. Let's take it one opponent at a time. For now, the UP game is the only important game in our future. If we win our game tomorrow, then that's the time we can focus on the next.